Friendly relations have taken a sour turn after a bombshell Danish media report, which accuses Denmark's Secret Service of helping the United States National Security Agency of spying on European politicians, including German Chancellor Angela Merkel. The report was published by Denmark's national broadcaster DR News in collaboration with Swedish, Norwegian, German and French media. The report showed that Germany's close ally and neighbors cooperated with the United States in the spying operation that targeted the chancellor and the president. The German government said that it was following up on the report and was in contact with all national and international bodies for clarification. The federal government has taken note of the report and is in contact with all relevant national and international bodies for clarification. As a matter of principle, and you already know this, I would ask you to understand that the federal government does not openly comment on matters concerning intelligence activities. This is no statement whether a situation is applicable or not. The German government reports on these issues to the parliament's confidentially meeting bodies. The disclosure that the United States had been spying on its allies first started coming to light back in 2013. While the White House did not deny the rumors, it said that Merkel's phone was not being bugged at the time. Merkel, too, commented on it then, saying, we need trust among allies and partners. Ever since we have been speaking about the NSA, I have repeatedly made clear to the US president that spying on friends is unacceptable. I told him that in June when he was in Berlin, in July, and in a phone conversation yesterday out of entrust for Germany's citizens. This is not mainly about me, but above all, it is about all Germans. We need trust among allies and partners. For more on this, we're joined by our correspondent, uh, uh, Murray Trent from Berlin. Murray, thanks for joining us. You know, Germany has taken note of the report that the U.S. spied on Chancellor Merkel. Uh, how do you think this will affect ties between the two countries? Yeah, well, confusion, concern, condemnation, just some of the words being thrown around Berlin this afternoon at this new report. As you mentioned, there's nothing particularly new here in terms of the allegations that the United States spied on Germany. We know that uh, from historical events which occurred back in 2013. But what is new in all of this is that one of Germany's actual neighbours, Denmark, assisted the United States in all of this. It really came out of left field, not uh, expected. We know Chancellor Chancellor Merkel's office uh, has admitted that the first they heard about Denmark being possibly involved was when the journalists got in touch with them to ask for a response. Uh, but I think, as I say, this has really taken the Chancellor's office um, by surprise. We know uh, that a number of Danish and European outlets are now reporting this story, uh, that both the intelligence service from Denmark cooperated uh, with the United States. Um, NSA in wiretapping telephones for a number of important politicians in Europe, especially here in Germany, of course, Angela Merkel topping the list, but also the foreign minister at the time, he had his phone tapped as well. Um, we know that this comes from a military uh, intelligence sharing agreement between Denmark and the United States presumably a, a sharing agreement, uh, intelligence sharing agreement that's meant uh, to try and not necessarily spy on your neighbours. So th th those are the questions being asked today. I, I note uh, the, the statement there from the Chancellor's spokesperson. Uh, that's quite light diplomatic language. I think if you read through the lines there, they will be calling Denmark and asking for quite a serious please explain uh, about why their neighbour was involved in this. Yeah, understandably so. So the French government also came out and said that these aren't things that should be happening between allies. Do you think that, you know, something like this could ultimately impact ties between the European Union and the United States after this recent outreach uh, by President Biden in a bid to counter China? 
Well, look, I think it certainly will leave a, a sour taste in the in the mouths of many diplomats here in Europe. Interestingly, uh, Chancellor Merkel, uh, as we speak, is meeting with French President Emmanuel Macron for a scheduled meeting. I suspect this topic will come up uh, as part of their conversations. Um, it's very interesting to note that these revelations about wiretapping originally were unearthed by Edward Snowden, you might recall. Well, he has tweeted today about this latest news. Uh, he has asked for a please explain from the White House. He says, quote, uh, Joe Biden was deeply involved in this scandal the first time around, pointing to the fact that Joe Biden was in fact the vice president at the time that these spying allegations were first unearthed. And he has said that the White House needs to provide a full public disclosure about what then president, now, pre now sorry, then vice president and now president Joe Biden knew about this. Um, the, a, a number of co condemnation, I mean, coming not just from France, as you say, but a number of other European countries countries. Uh, Sweden has noted what has occurred. Its defence minister said this afternoon he wants to see Denmark put all of its cards on the table, reveal exactly how involved it was on spying on its neighbours. I don't think this is a story that will be going away anytime soon. Our correspondent Trent Murray in Berlin, thank you for that update.